I'm Johannes. Welcome to my masterclass for modern techno. Hey guys, welcome to Production Music Live. My name is Johannes and in this video I'm going to walk with you a little bit through the track of the masterclass I've recorded for PML. And yeah, if you want to find out more about the masterclass, just check out the video description. And without any further ado, let's go right into the session. So this is the track uh, we are having in front of us. Let me give you a short example so you can hear what we are going to talk about. Let's go and uh, be careful. It is mastered, so it is loud. So this is the track and in, in this video I just want to yeah run with you a little bit through the track so you have a feeling what is going on, what we are doing in the masterclass, yeah, and that's basically it. I would call this cosmic techno, I don't know, uh, so it's somehow techno but it's also a little bit trancey because of a lot of sawtooth and a lot of super saw stuff and melodies and and arbs uh, it's not really aggressive and dark it's more like bright and and, and happy kind of techno but uh, yeah this is basically the the music i like the music i make the music i listen to and yeah this is what we are doing in the master class so in the master class we are starting with a reference track which is important because a lot of my tracks i produce with a reference track so the reference track is, in this case, a track of mine, which is uh, hopefully already released when this video comes out on YouTube, but somehow will be released somewhere in, in March of 2020. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's have a short listen to the reference track. Hopefully we will not get a copyright strike for that one. Okay, so this is the reference track and in the masterclass we are using this track to get the idea of our track which we are creating in the class. So to make this simple, for example, it starts with analyzing the track. So there is like something like, yeah, here is, there is a low cut and a high pass and so on. And there comes the pad in here, as you can see here. Actually, there is no pad. Interesting. But anyhow, 
So we are using the track to get ideas what we need for our track, which does not only mean we are copying the reference track, we are just copying the ideas, which means when the reference track starts with the main theme here and with the first ARP here, then we are creating an ARP which plays totally different sounds, which plays totally different notes, but it is an ARP which is somehow similar to the track we're using as reference. So this is how the reference accompanies the whole video series. Yeah. And we are starting with the kick drum, like all, in all of my tracks, I start with the kick drum. This is how I'm used to make techno. Let's have a short listen how that one sounds. So we have a classic kick and we have a rhythm kick. And we have the reverb rumbling kind of kick. Yeah, and all three of them are made with the same sample here on their rhythm kick. We have a little bit of shaping going on and on the reverb rumble. Yeah, we have a lot of frequency cut it out here and a lot of harmonics with the saturator. And yeah, tr we are adding groove with the size of the reverb, which is a trick. Yeah, which I explain in the class, but basically it's just turning down the size until, I don't know, 5.0 and then just playing between 1 and 5, so really, really small size, until the reverb from the kick drum itself tries to like to roll a little bit. Yeah, and this is different for every sample you put into the reverb, this is different for every speed you're choosing every BPM you're choosing for the track. But uh, in the end, it's just playing around small steps with the size until you have the feeling that the kick, that the reverb is not just adding a longer tail to the kick drum, then it is adding like, like let's call it a rhythm coming out of the reverb. But this is, this belongs mostly just to the, to the Ableton reverb. I haven't tried any other reverb, honestly, because that one, I only use it for kick drums, not for for synth and for drum rooms or for whatever, because I, I don't like the sound. It's a little bit too dirty for me, but especially on, on kick drums and, and rumbling sounds, I really like the Ableton reverb yeah, to, to make this kind of sound out of it. So anyhow, let's go ahead. Let's just have a short listen to the drums. Yeah, drums are basically like, uh, yeah, simple offbeat hi-hats. Layer together, then we have this cool loop in here, which I got from a friend, which is a old record from a hip hop vinyl. And it sounds like that. Yeah, then we have uh, shaker loops from the premium. So these are really nice shakers. And my opinion, especially the, the loops, because these are really organic. These are real like recorded shaker loops, uh, which is really a nice idea when you make techno and everything is in, in the grid and everything is, yeah, Coming out of machines, it's nice to add this kind of samples to your track, like record from, from, from a vinyl or a really, a real shaker. And next in the row, we have the synth. So let's, 
Yeah, all the synths are actually uh, frozen because I am having some CPU issues. But we can try to unfreeze some of them. Hopefully it works. So we have the main ARP, I think. This is the main ARP. Maybe I should give my tracks names. Yeah, though this is basically yeah, a, a nice plucky preset from Diva and it is playing yeah just some th three notes, isn't it? G, D, D sharp and G. A simple ARP, which is important for that kind of music. You don't want to get too complicated. And then we have, uh, but let me please freeze this stuff again. Okay, the tracks are frozen now. Back again. Yeah, sorry for that. But in in the project there are a few fab filter pro cues with natural face and we have a lot of divas and ozone on the master. So this takes a lot of CPU, but it works. So it's fine. The next one in the row is another Diva instance, which is a standard preset from, from the strings. And it is playing more or less, or not more or less, it is playing the same as the ARP is playing, actually, but with a lot longer attack time and decay time and a little bit of reverb or not a lot of reverb. So it is more like a pet sound made of the ARP. So let's check that one out. Yeah, I think you, you got the idea. And uh, the next one is pad sound, which is playing all over the place. Because the track is really shining, really bright, really happy. And that pad sound is adding a little bit of contrast to, the, to this happy sound. So let's listen to all of them together. Then we have this one, which is uh, yeah, just a standing bass, uh, which is yeah, a superstar uh, detuned saw bass, uh, playing all over the place. Just one note with cutoff automation. Then there is yeah, like a pad sound to adding a little bit more yeah, interesting harmonics to the intro of the track because nowadays I care a little bit more about the intro. I care less about having a pretty simple DJ intro and I try to make more an interesting kind of mini break intro because of uh, because a lot of people are listening on, on streaming platforms and it plays a huge role when, when the track is starting like with one minute just a kick drum or starting with with a nice intro a nice um yeah like a short break nice melodies because a lot of people are really more interested in this in this kind of sound so i want to introduce the track with yeah something interesting here so let's go for that one And that diva pad is also just playing one time in, during the whole track. It has a long tail, as you can see here in the, in the frozen 
audio, you can see it, it lasts almost forever, yeah. So the VK time is at the maximum. And uh, then we have, uh, which is also interesting, of course, I call it the rhythm bass. So it is, it is just adding a little bit of groove to the track. And this bass sound uh, plays a little bit a bigger role here in that area where no kick drum is playing because then you can really feel the low frequencies coming out of the bass sound which are cut all over the track except in the break. So when a kick drum is playing, the sound is much thinner and in the break, the sound is much thicker because I wanted to have bass in the break. Yeah, and then we have our main theme, which is, yeah, as you can see, pretty simple. It's just an arpeggiator playing up and down the same notes like in the arp. Mm, not really, but almost. So we have this kind of sound. Let me check. And then we have this pattern here after every four bars, I think. Yeah, so this is the main theme. Then we have, is there something else we should talk about? No, there's nothing special anymore. There is the rolling snare for, for the break. Yeah, I totally forgot that one. The strange pad, yeah. So I call it strange pad because it sounds very weird. But without this gap before the kick drum would be much more boring. So let's have a listen to that one. So almost no processing going on on that sound, just filter automation, which is, this one is, uh, I can't open the it's frozen. Yeah, anyhow, it is a preset from PML. It's uh, an atmosphere sound, but I really like the, the weirdness of the sound, which, which is adding a lot of, of atmosphere here to that gap we are having right before the kick comes back in. Yeah, that's almost the track. Then we have some yeah, FX stuff going on like claps. Yeah, like risers, a little bit of texture in the background to add a little bit of noise. Yeah, and uh, like, I don't know, like a little bit of noise floor to the track. And then we have these small shots here. Yeah, just some, some details which, which make uh, the parts here, which are very repetitive in the track, which make them a little bit more interesting. And in the end, we have, uh, yeah, an ozone on the master chain 
which has not that much stuff going on in here in here because in the master class we are also doing mixing and yeah when a track is mixed well then it is not important to add a lot of stuff on the master chain you usually just need a, a limiter and maybe some basic EQing but this is just I don't know how much is that 0.8 and 0.9 dB so it's almost nothing uh, just to to change the balance a little bit yeah so this is the track this is a very short overview about the track of course I can't show you everything uh, because then the master class would be useless in the master class i think there are more than six hours of everything we are starting from scratch analyzing the reference track uh, creating kick rhythm reverb rumble crew processing adding percussions drums uh, creating the melodies from scratch uh yeah doing the arrangement of the track and in the end we're doing mixing and mastering and yeah basically that's it so thanks for watching if you have any questions, then just put them down in the comments. I will reply as fast as I can. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, my name is Johannes Menzel and uh, as, as artist and also my real name. And my YouTube channel is called Ableton Techno Vlog. So I think you can find also some videos there. Check it out and thanks and peace. Hi, I'm Johannes. Welcome to my masterclass for modern techno. In more than six hours of video training, we will go from creating the initial idea over building excitement and tension in the arrangement until the finished master. I will show you how to achieve tight low end, crisp percussions and massive lead sounds as if we were sitting side by side in the studio. You can watch this online course whenever you want in your own pace. So let's get started.